हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट एरेपी प्रेजोल सो एरेपी प्रेजोल इज एक्चुअली डी टू रिसेप्टर पार्शियल एगोनिस्ट इट इज डी टू रिसेप्टर पार्शियल एगोनिस्ट एंड इट हैज एफिनिटी फॉर डी टू रिसेप्टर्स इट हैज एफिनिटी फॉर डी टू रिसेप्टर्स only slightly than less slightly than dopamine it has affinity for d2 receptors but little less slightly than uh, dopamine but this has a unique action that is it increases dopaminergic it increases dopaminergic activity when dopamine concentrations are high If dopamine concentrations are high, that increase then it increases the dopaminergic activity. Like for example, in mesolimbic tract, the the mesolimbic cortex, the dopamine activity will be high. So in these places, it increases the dopaminergic activity. Whereas if you see in now, if you see in prefrontal cortex, where dopamine activity is low, if dopamine levels are limited so it decreases first it decreases if dopamine concentrations are high it decreases the dopamine activity if dopamine concentrations are limited then it will increase the d2 or activate the d2 receptors that is the reason why it is used in schizophrenia okay so this is about aripiprazol thank you for watching thank you and thank you for watching